Hi, friends, and welcome to the Zillion Story House. Hi. I'm Jax. And I'm Jack, and we hope you're having a great day so far. We have a really awesome story for you guys today, and I think you're really going to like it. I mean, it has everything you would want in a story. It has excitement. It has comedy. It has peanut butter. Oh, does it ever. Yes, yes. You are absolutely right, my friend. Today's story is based on a tale by the Brothers Grimm, and it's called The Jar of Peanut Butter. Once upon a beautiful summer day, there was a little mouse who was looking for a place to live. Here I am, just an innocent little mouse looking for a place to live. I used to live in the back of a grocery store. Now that's what I call living. All the food I could eat, all the milk I could drink, all the mouse traps in the world ready to snap. I had to get out of there before it was too late. So now here I am, wandering these long, lonely roads looking for some place to call my home. Just then, mm -hmm. the little mouse passed by an old barn. The door was cracked just a little, so the mouse walked inside. This place is incredible. All this space, all this straw for nesting, and not a single mouse trap anywhere to be seen. Oh yes, I could definitely live here and be a very, very happy mouse for a long, long time. Oh, just at that very moment, the door creaked open and in walked a cat. A cat who, as it turned out, was also looking for a place to live. Here I am, just an innocent little cat looking for a place to live, someplace safe to be, anywhere I can hang my... Hey, this place is nice. All this room, all these nooks and crannies. Wait a minute, Buster. I don't think so. Beat it. But I need a place to live. Somewhere safe to be myself. Cry me a river, Felix. You're just gonna have to be yourself someplace else. I was here first. Okay, that's fair, but look at this place. It's huge. There has to be room for both of us to live here. I mean, come on. It's just the two of us, me, a sleekly elegant cat, and you, just a little, uh, a little... Uh, Mouse. I'm a mouse, and it just won't work. You know why, and I definitely know why. It just won't work. And just why might that be, my little long-tailed mm, friend? I wonder why. I really don't know. I bet you don't. It's because you're a cat, and I am a mouse, and we all know what cats <clears throat> like to eat for dinner, don't we? Well, I don't know about you, but I just adore a little tuna or some... Some turkey pate, or, or when I'm feeling a little devilish, I just I just love a little a uh, little mouse. Mouse, you're a cat, and you just love to eat little defenseless mice. Well, I never. I resent that remark. So that's why you can't live here with me, because I don't want to wake up one morning and find myself inside your stinky belly. Uh, do you really think that a cat and a mouse could never be friends? Yes, that is exactly what I think. Well, that's just sad to think that you and I could never be friends just because you're a mouse and I'm a cat. Oh, really? Well then, Mr. Cat, you tell me. What are your favorite foods, hmm? Well, let's see here. Like I said before, I, I like tuna and turkey. I, I used to like milk, but now I'm just a little lactose intolerant. <gasps> Me too. But my favorite thing to eat is peanut butter. Oh, I just love it so much. I can't get enough. That is so interesting. I love peanut butter too. Well, maybe we could try living here together. But no funny business, okay? I promise. So the mouse and the cat lived together in the big old barn, and they really did become good friends. They talked a lot and shared food with each other, and they even put their money together to buy a big jar of peanut butter for the winter. So that no one would find it, they hid it at the other end of the road, behind an old church and they put it under an old bushel basket so that no one would find it. Then one day, the cat was overtaken by an incredible hunger for peanut butter. 
He knew he wasn't supposed to open the jar until the winter, but he just couldn't help it. So he told the mouse, Uh, guess what, mouse? Uh, my sister, who lives in the city, uh, just had a kitten, so I, I'm gonna go visit her in the city today. Oh, that's wonderful! Have a safe trip, cat, and send her my love. So, the cat left the barn, but he didn't go to the city. Instead, he went all the way down to the other end of the road to the old church. And he went behind the church, and he lifted up the bushel basket, and there was the beautiful jar of peanut butter. He scraped off the top layer of the delicious peanut butter with his paw and gobbled it right up. Then he put the jar back under the basket, and after a few hours, he went back home to the barn. Hello, cat. How was your visit to your sister's? It was wonderful, Mouse. Uh, thank you. The new kitten is just adorable. That's nice. What did they name it? Name it? Um, they named it Top Off? Top Off? <laughs> That's a weird name. I've never <laughs> heard a name like that before. What is that, like a cat thing or what? Well, um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, my sister's always been kind of weird. So, the cat and the mouse went to sleep. But all night long, the cat dreamed about the delicious creamy peanut butter. So when he woke up the next morning, his stomach was growling, and all he could think about was getting more of that yummy peanut butter. Uh, guess what, Mouse? Uh, I, I just heard that my sister had another kitten, so I, uh, I must visit her again today in the city. Uh, okay. How did you find out about this other new kitten? Um, I... I got an email. But you don't have a computer. No, but I have a mouse. So, the cat left again and went down the road to the old church. And this time, he ate the middle of the jar of peanut butter and it was just as delicious as it had been the day before. And when he got back home for the evening and the mouse asked him the name of the new kitten, the cat replied, uh, Half gone. Half gone? What kind of a name is that? That's even sillier than Top Off. I know, right? Sisters, what can you do? The next morning, when the cat woke up, his stomach was growling again. And guess what he wanted? You guessed it. Peanut butter. So he said to the mouse. Mouse, my good friend, you're never going to believe this. You're probably right. My sister has had another kitten, and I must go visit her in the city again today. Let me guess. Another email? No. Smoke signal. But anyway, I gotta run. See you tonight. Once again, the cat walked to the end of the road, went behind the old church and lifted the basket. Mm. Then he devoured the very last of the delicious peanut butter. When he got home that night, the mouse asked him the name of the latest kitten. Mm. Oh, his name? Uh, his name is All Gone. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> oh, what can I say? I think my sister's a hippie. So Cat and Mouse shared the barn all through the summer and the autumn, and they really did become pretty good friends. They would talk about their families and their dreams, and sometimes they would go for long walks together through the town. But one day, winter fell upon the village, and the snow started to fall. Eventually, the food in the barn had been all eaten up, and that's when the mouse suddenly had a flash. Hey, Cat, remember that jar of peanut butter we bought? Uh-oh. The one we hid under the basket behind the old church? I think the time has finally come to open it, and hopefully it will be enough food to last us through until spring comes. And with that, the little mouse ran through the snow all the way down the road until he got to the old church, and then he lifted up the basket. He saw the empty jar. That's when he realized what the cat had done. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute. Top off, half gone, all gone. Now I see what you were up to all those months ago. You weren't visiting your sister. Do you even have a sister? Actually, I do. Her name is Tiffany and she I lives in- I don't care about your sister. I care about being hungry and about what we're gonna eat now that you ate all of our peanut butter. And with that, the cat's stomach growled a low, hungry growl. The cat looked down at the little mouse and bent down to look him right in the eye. And the mouse hobbled up the cat in one big... Excuse me!
Now that's what I call a surprising ending. <laughs> it sure was, Jack. <laughs> now we said that story was based on a tale by the Brothers Grimm. Do you know who they were? The Brothers Grimm were two guys who went around asking people their stories, and then they wrote them down. That was a long time ago, but people still tell the stories to this day. You know, that sounds like a great idea. Like we always say, great stories are all around you, so you be sure to keep listening. That's right, and we'll see you next time here at the Zillion Story House. Bye-bye.